Hello, I'm Jessica. I'm a nurse in Greenwich Camp's Learning Disabilities and Neurodevelopmental Team. My name is Beth Gibby and I'm a specialist speech and language therapist within the Autism Outreach Team. The Integrated Neurodevelopmental Team, the IND, are a team of professionals who assess children and young people for autism. The team is made up of speech and language therapists, psychiatrists, psychologists and community paediatricians. Children and young people up to the age of 18 can be referred into the IND team by a community paediatrician, speech and language therapist, CAMS or by the ADHD team. The referring professional will be asked to submit information about the child and their school will be asked to complete a teacher observation questionnaire. Once all the information has been received, it will be looked over by the IND triage team. This is made up of professionals who work in the IND team. They look over the information and decide whether the child would benefit from an autism assessment or not. The team also consider what type of assessment the child needs based on the information already available, as this information becomes part of the ASD assessment. Sometimes the triage team will decide that they have lots of information about a child and an autism diagnosis can be given without further assessment. Other times they might want the IND team to see the child or talk to the parents. In this case, triage team accept the referral and the child is placed on the waiting list for further assessment. They will write to the family and to the referrer to let them know their decision. It can take a long time to get an assessment as lots of children are referred every month. When the child or young person reaches the top of the waiting list, their family will be contacted to book in the assessment. The assessment might be face to face or it might be a video call. There are different options for further assessments. The IND team might want to interview the parents to find out about the child's early development and what the child is like at home. They might also want to carry out an observation of the child or do a play-based assessment. After this is complete, the professionals will decide whether the child meets the criteria for autism spectrum disorder and they will tell the family their decision at that appointment. If the child does meet the criteria, the professionals will talk to their parents about the next steps and what support is available in the borough for the child and their family. Neurodiversity describes the idea that people experience and interact with the world around them in many different ways. There is no one right way of thinking, learning and behaving and differences are not viewed as a bad thing. The word neurodiversity refers to the diversity of all people but is often used in the context of autism spectrum disorder or ASD as well as other conditions such as ADHD or learning disabilities. Autism spectrum disorder is associated with differences in communication, learning and behaviour though it can look different from person to person. People with ASD may have a wide range of strengths, abilities, needs and challenges. For example, some autistic people are able to communicate verbally, have a normal or average IQ and live independently. It's important that people who need support to promote communication, social, academic, positive behaviour and daily living skills have access to those services in order to maximise their quality of life and development. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum, who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.